Well, clearly I think that the thing that people really need to keep sharp focus on is funding rates. So we've written a lot about, yes, interest rates are rising, which interest rates exactly? Because it's not a homogenous complex. People talk about debt markets at the bond market as if it's a singular thing, but clearly there's a huge number of, of different drivers and different parts of that complex that are moving. It's those short dated interest rates that drive funding, that drive you know, where, where we can borrow money to buy houses and what our credit card costs are and those types of instruments that really, really matter. And so we've had a pretty substantial rise in those interest rates in international markets of late. And if we think about things like funding markets like the LIBOR market, where you'll often hear people discuss that, where banks can borrow from each other in, in European markets, those rates have exploded higher. And there's about four and a half trillion dollars of global loans that are tied to those interest rates. And that the cost, you know, we've had essentially three rate hikes in those markets this year. And this is some of the unintended consequence of the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. Clearly, you know, these funding rates rise and it does start off a very slow uh, rolling snowball of credit delinquency for those that are sailing too close to the wind. Now that credit cycle takes a long time to evolve. If you make $1,000 a week and your outgoings are $1,000 a week, if interest rates just go up a little bit, it means you start paying your bills in the fifth week rather than in the fourth. And as interest rates continue to creep up, that delinquency starts to grow, but it grows nevertheless. And so at what, you know, what we tend to find is that people don't really look at it too much and then all of a sudden you get a very asymmetric repricing in risk markets as bad and doubtful debt provisioning and those types of things are entered into to valuations. And we can see how quickly that can happen. We saw it recently with uh, the Macquarie Infrastructure Fund in the States, quite levered, needed to provision for higher funding costs and trades off you know, 40% in a single session. So I think investors need to focus on this space because it moves slowly, but the outcomes can be very pronounced and they can be very quick to come to market. It really is an up the staircase, down the fire pole type pricing moment. Uh, and investors should just be conscious of that because that train has left the station absolutely. And this is in play at the moment, albeit moving slowly for now, but it's certainly trending in a pretty ordinary direction uh, for risk markets over time.